Hello, say friends. So what happens when K2 goes to the ninth house? And what is the ninth house? The ninth house is called Dharma Bhava. Dharma Bhava, Dharma means, mm, closest word would be in English, is virtue. Um, it's a very difficult to, to interpret the word Dharma in English. But uh, what I think is it's something like virtue, righteousness, uh, justice, moral, and ethics together is called dharma, right? It is one's sole duty to do the right thing. Okay? So what happens when K2 comes here? Now K2, if you have K2, the ninth house, then you are blessed. Truly you are. You know, because that's, that's, that's the house where you learn, you know, spirituality. And that's what K2 wants as well. Isn't it? K2 is all about uh, learning the spirituality, learning, understanding the reality, the essence of life, higher learning, um, the uh, worldly knowledge, all those sort of things. And that's what Ninth House is all about also. So, and that creates a very beautiful balance. A very beautiful balance. So if you have K2 in the Ninth House, you must be a very intelligent person. You must be in a teaching line. Something to do with... Um, it's either teaching or you know law and authority so it could be a judge a, a priest a teacher or a professor a lawyer you know those sort of uh, categories of job you will do great say if you're a musician and you have Ketu in the ninth house you will not be successful that is for sure because that's not the energy that Ketu is uh, producing Ketu is producing um, clean energy on the ninth house as far as I'm uh, uh, as far as my reading goes and my experience, what I've seen is, if you have K to the ninth house, you'll be a, a person who knows so many things, um, a, a jack of all trades. You know, you you might know um, how to fix a car, to to you know, nanotechnology, whatever it is. You seem to know everything and anything, and that's a great thing when it comes to spirituality as well, because the basis of higher education and higher knowledge starts from spirituality as far as K2 is concerned. So K2 gets all that uh, metaphysical knowledge, all that all that essence of life and then it imparts all that knowledge into learning. So if you have nine if you have K2 in the ninth house then you are most likely uh, on the academic line, on the spiritual line and uh, and that creates a lot of benefits. So again I want to say that if you have K2 to the ninth house, then you are truly a blessed person. And uh, you know, the sense of traveling to foreign countries also plays a big role. And K2 to the ninth house, uh, the f the travels that you go through when you are on the ninth, uh, when you have K2 to the ninth houses, uh, all it's it's everything to do with pilgrimage tour. I mean, if you go for a, if you if if you go on a, on a travels, it must be a spiritual journey. And uh, normally from what I have seen, many people who have this configuration have seen the world, uh, have seen most of the religious uh, uh, teachers who have seen them here. They have traveled far and wide. They have been to the, you know, the most holiest sites. And, uh, and, and this, that feeling, you know, somehow they may not be rich, uh, but then that, that inner, inner uh, strength, inner willpower, is pushing them to do all these things. Now, when I say will, willpower, there's a reason to that also because remember it's on the same axis, Rahu and Ketu, right? Now, if uh, if Ketu is a ninth house and uh, Rahu is seven houses apart, which means he's in the third house. Now, the third house is called the Badru Stana. Uh, Badru means uh, brother uh, or sibling. Stana is a house, or, you know. Now, that house, the third house. Uh, it has many uh, attributes. Out of that, the most important is that sense of willpower, courage. You know, courage and willpower and tenacity. So, Rahu has that obsessive uh, thoughts and that goes directly into Ketu. So, Ketu will be then taking that tenac tenacious quality of Rahu because Rahu is in the third house. And uh, with that, every other... Um, feelings of spirituality will be successful even from the very young age if you have K to the ninth house you will be already inclined with uh, the spiritual world 
when you'll be starting off with religion you'll be first you'll be with your whatever the um, your your uh, your religion is your faith and then eventually you learn other religions and then you integrate all of these and you slowly move into the spiritual world and and that's what will happen and uh, i see a lot of authors a lot of writers who wrote uh, religious and spiritual and motivational books has this configuration um yeah and uh, oh most important thing the ninth house represents luck okay so when k2 is in the house it gets a little bit tricky you see k2 uh, again see luck simply means that uh, uh, all desires will come true correct and who's k2 k2 is not interested in all these worldly desires so uh, it's uh, needless to say that if if you have uh, k2 in the ninth house then you are sort of a unlucky person materially materially speaking okay in this world of uh, you know you know material world uh, one uh, is um, the one who has k to the ninth house may not have that uh, you know luck you know it's all through hard work one will reach uh, the uh, desirable uh, status however there isn't such thing as luck for these people all right so that's a little bit on uh, my thoughts about uh, k to the ninth house uh, i hope this has been beneficial to you and um, until the next time namaste